What's up everyone, Nomadic Guys in here. Today we're gonna to be doing a video about Koedo and Tochigi. If you check out these old buildings here, it's a really nice little town and it's got a lot of cool things to see, so let's check it out. Kuranomachi in Tochigi, nicknamed Koedo, is a place where you get nice sights of the old, the rundown, and sometimes a little bit of the new. Come check it out with us as we explore old Japan in Tochigi. Just over an hour from my house, this place is fairly accessible from all the surrounding areas, including Tokyo, being less than a 10 minute walk from Tochigi Station. As you walk through, it's almost like a ghost town at first. The buildings are old, you don't see a lot of people. It's really calm. But then you see it, that architecture, the thick shutters, the Japanese styling, it's beautiful. And then there's places like that. We get to the start of it where it's just they've got really nice very old style buildings here right along the river they kept a lot of old style shops in the area which is they have these boat tours that look amazing but they've been shut down for the next couple months thanks to covid so the best i could really do was send a drone through so you can get a little bit of a peek or what it might be like to ride on those boats. Look at this sign up here. I really love these old school streets. Ginza Dori. Ginza Dori is everywhere. There is one in Atami too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a Ginza restaurant and bar. Excitedly walking to the historic road, I was surprised by a drive through Starbucks. <laughs> that really wasn't what I was expecting in the area. But there it was, the start of this road that really really feels like a piece of history. Cool little shop here. Do we need a broom? Or a rock? <laughs> There's just rocks in a basket. I don't know why. Man, I would have loved a shop like this when I was a kid. Old school Japanese toy shop. I used to go this kind of shop and every day after the school. So these kind of places are not around anymore so much, huh? Yeah, not much. Like even a little tourist map. And there's a lot of things you can see here. So this way. Oh, okay, okay. So we're there and all these things are along the way. Yeah. A pleasure boat ride, not today. Okay. Even the toilet. Oh, that's not a toilet. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, the streets are empty. This is a Sunday. That one looks like it's out of business. Looks like it could be a park or something. Look at this. You might have seen the old timey storage units store valuables in it. So rice, grain, dead bodies. I really wanted to see inside one of these storage units and there just so happened to be one open to the public, no admission fee, no supervision. They just let you wander around. I think that's super rare, but really amazing about Japan. Whoa. The floor does not feel stable here. Oh, okay, yeah, like in the house we saw. Stairs. Stairs have a drawer. That is really neat. Oh wow, Shoko, there's some old documents in here. Ooh. That is so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, this is an old time uh, the pillow. Oh, old, old school pillow, wow. Yeah. 
Look at that. That's so high. This is for calligraphy. Oh. Is it karata to cook rice? An old rice cooker. This floor is very, very unstable. Kind of scary. Uh, we're in this cafe now, yeah. and the ups the cafe is upstairs from this nice little shop. Okay, gotta take our shoes off to go upstairs. We're in one of these old style buildings. Shoku even found a sign that this is a protected property. They even asked you not to smoke here. With homemade bagels, buns, and burgers, this cafe gave us everything we needed to keep going on our journey. Okay, so we just finished up at this cafe. It's a really nice place, and we had the whole, it's, it's upstairs, the cafe. We had the whole place to ourselves. It's really cool. It's in this old style building. So the windows, the fixtures, everything is super like classic Japan. I love it. Check it out. After that great cafe, and we're just walking along the street now. It's really, really good. Ooh, look at that building back there. This, uh, this path right here, it's a really nice path, leads up to a toilet. There you go. Check out this charming place. It's called Charm. Since 1922, wow. An old soba shop. Look at that building. A pajama store. Nice. This guy looks, he's not wearing a pajamas, he's wearing a suit. Oh, he's wearing a pajama suit, maybe. <laughs> well, that's why. Very happy individual. Wow. Oh my goodness. Tell me there's not people living here still. I can't be, the windows are all broken. This is a real estate agency. It's a real estate agency. They can't take care of their own stuff. I couldn't imagine that people were actually living here, but then I saw clothes hanging up. Like, like seriously, are people living here? That's insane. So this, this house behind me is 176 years old. And no restoration's been done except for the front. <laughs> Oh. They had made chochin, which is like the lanterns. And that was really cool. And the guy just came out in the street and just wanted to show us this place. This sign is from Oh, this right here? Wow. Oh, look at that bookstore. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's a nice place to get married, I guess. Where's that bamboo forest? Is that here? <laughs> Gotta find it. That's fake. That Coffee Depot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, dental shop. Can you take Newspaper company. Look at this classy paint job. This ominous red door in the back of this coffee shop. Cafe Sakura. This row, we finished all the major stuff we could see. Uh, we're gonna turn off. Oh, there's some cool places over there, though. Look at that cool one. Yeah. It's a police station. Yeah. It's it's in blue. <laughs> yeah, that's that's also very cool. Okay, yeah. where to? Yeah, okay. Look at So this road right here, when Tokugawa Ieyasu died, messengers took this road to Nikko. Like, oh, I don't know how far that is, but it's gotta be pretty far.
I like all the guys just like sitting in the window looking at us. <laughs> Are they restoring this one or taking it down? Look at that. Let's follow this guy. He knows what's up. This just feels so weird behind that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all this really nice historic stuff and then there's just some dude driving a little cart around. That's funny. <laughs> and the streets are safe again. So much stuff is just falling apart in a lot of these places. I'm afraid to touch the wall. This house has its own moat. I believe we can. Shall we? Yeah. Look at the way this house is right on the edge. That's kind of scary. There's this really cool walking path along the river. You just kind of see all the houses along here and it's really quiet like the, all the neighborhoods we've been through today. There's sand here. It's kind of unusual. Right? Now I feel like we're on someone's property. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a walking path anymore. Should be fine. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Look at that. Oh. Look at all these. They're very old. So there's a sign over there, and what it basically tells you is this river was vital to developing the town and also for moving materials between here and Edo, which is now Tokyo, right? So this is a very important river. It's hard to believe that so much progress and change was brought about on this little river. Yeah, see small alleys in America, you feel like you're gonna get stabbed, but here it's like, just a really cool atmosphere. <laughs> That is left over from that typhoon <laughs> two years ago. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. Live recording. Another like hidden gem over here. This place is incredible. The bag factory. Bag factory? Yeah. <laughs> Look at these. Look at that ladder over there. Uh, <laughs> stairs. Wow, to the. Those look like a death trap. <laughs> Ooh, an old phone booth. It's so fun. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> this is a park toilet. Really thin house right on the water. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a walk through old Japan. See you next time.